Good evening, my test subjects. And welcome to another episode of Pokemon Giratina Strikes Back. We are back again. And by the looks of it, I ended in a pretty rough situation. Let's take a look at my Pokemans. Do what the fuck they're doing. Oh, god damn. I did, didn't I? I did not end in a very good location. Which means I need to get to the next town without being seen. Preferably. Okay. Or caught by any Pokemans. That dude might see me, but I won't let him. Ah, there we go. Oh, that <laughs> Speeding up is probably not the best <laughs> way to avoid them. This way to avoid them is probably just the sprint in the actual game. Okay, so we got a pine cone. Let's pick and drain him. Oh, never mind. Let's, uh, have himself destruct and kill me. I wait it out. Alright, can I reload? I have turned. I don't think that guy's gonna spin at all. Darn, he's one of those ones I have to fight. I would I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. Hopefully she only has one, and it's easy to kill. <laughs> She's got two. Snub bull. I can almost guarantee you're gonna fucking win. Lol. Dude, I ain't gonna win, I can I ain't gonna say that much. It's already scaring me and shit. They're already like... I'm already fucking paralyzed somehow. Alright, I made her fall asleep. Or it fall asleep. I'm gonna call it a her. That, that is a it. And she's fucking cheating already. Wow, you hacker. I'm just gonna play from here, I suppose. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I ain't gonna get very far, I'm sure. Not, not with that attitude. Wait, are my Pokemon still alive? Or are they alive? Or am I gonna... Okay, can I stop doing that? Oh my god, I pressed the fucking up button. There we go. Yeah, they're, pretty, they're pretty alive, I'd say. I, I'd give them the benefit of a doubt if they're alive. I don't have to fight those weird people again, I should be fine. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna just tackle. Maybe you need some more moves, like, seriously. All those are, like, debuff spells and shit. Fuck those. Okay. Alright, so that person's already decided that I won. Which is good. I've already fought you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just standing. Just standing. Alright, let's just fight this guy. Whoa! Watch it! I'm trying to train for a bike race! Oh yeah. I don't give a shit. Gloom, level 23. He's like my most powerful Pokemon. Uh, no. I ain't gonna change. I'm gonna kill him. With Giga Drain. Oh! Wow, I didn't know it would actually work! I was just stating something. My brakes failed. Uh. Oh, yeah, I got back from the park and I put this on. I was like, I thought I was listening to Zelda music. I was like, do 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 I'm like, oh, shit, what happened? Alright, what the hell was I? I think I was heading back to the town. At least from the direction I was facing, it looked like I am. So I'm going to assume that I was. I got beat you up to level 21. That's pretty sexy. When the fuck is he gonna evolve? Eevee, you're level 21. Nice, Eevee. You're still not evolving yet. You fucking noob. I haven't got one of these yet. So let's try and catch it with uh, a normal Pokeball, I guess. Don't want to use the great ones on something that doesn't need it yet. Ha, I caught a pine cow. <laughs> Such random. It's a bagworm Pokemon. Pineco hangs from a tree branch and patiently waits for prey to come along. If this Pokemon is disturbed while eating by someone shaking its tree, 
It drops down to the ground and explodes with no warning. Oh, what an evil little thing. <laughs> it's unwarranted. This one's gonna require me to fight. But at least I'm full on, like, everything pretty much, so I'm able to kill it more easier. Or I should be able to, at least. Maybe not. <laughs> um, sand attack, what does that do? I forget. Accuracy. Ooh, that would be good. Let's do that a couple more times, actually. What? I wasn't able to do that still. And it's still able to correct do shit. Alright, let's just tackle him some more. <laughs> and he's still able to do shit. Why? At least he's not, like, damaging me, so... I guess I'm okay with that. Make my attack harshly fall and shit. Tangela. Yeah, I'm gonna need a change if my attack is so damn low. Might as well use Pichu, I guess. Hopefully he's pretty effective against this weird thing. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. But a critical hit is not very effective. Ha! Alright, let's switch Pokemon because it's not very effective. Let's actually go back to the EV. Uh, well, well, I don't know if his stuff gets reset. We're about to find out. If I do so little damage. Yeah, we're gonna go to the gloom now. Gloom. We're gonna cut him. Okay. We're gonna make. We're gonna poison him. And I fail. Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. You're good, ain't you? Ain't you a clever little motherfucker? Oh, darn. Alright, we're just gonna cut him some. At least until he dies. Oh, quit absorbing damn nutrients. Ya fack. Ha. You're gonna die next turn. Yay. Eevee, leveled up. Alright. Killed her. Oh dear, this won't do. Ha. Bitch. Alright, we need to find the next town, like, real quick, because this, this, this area is, like, way too fucking big. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Is this the path? Yes, Avington City. Awesome. Now I feel happy. Alright, let's still put away this pineco, I guess. So I don't really need a pineco on my team. That one is full. Shows how many Pokemans I have. Let's talk to these people. I trade Pokemon with my friends. If a traded Pokemon is holding an item, it makes me twice as happy. Want a tip for battling? I'd say it's raising different kinds of Pokemon in a balanced manner. It's no good to make just one Pokemon strong. If it has a type disadvantage, it might not stand a chance. That's why I'm using three for now. At least until I can get some newer ones that I wouldn't mind using. Let's go finish off these other trainers that I didn't, I didn't fight before. You sure I bike more often? It's good for you. Okay, that guy doesn't want to fight. About this granny. Okay, well, probably not, but Pineco wants to fight. <laughs> he wants to kill himself. There are so many bike riders around here, but this just seems like awful terrain. Alright, well that was the last person I got in front of. Her get in front of, so. This area's completely done. Pretty much got all the Pokemon, as far as I know. So, yeah. Alright. Avington City, the beach town where people and Pokemon cross paths. Hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Hmm. Where have identical minds? Hmm. Take this good rod. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, I a drink. I can't drink to it. Wherever there's water, try your luck at fishing. King dug around in the trash. Oh, there's an item. I found one revive, and that dude disappeared. Oh, I was able to walk through him. Did you guys see that? That was sick. My Pokemon has a hasty nature. 
it has higher speed compared to my other Pokemon. Maybe their nature has something to do with the stat gains of Pokemon. My Pokemon used Substitute, but the doll came to life. It really creeps me out, but I want it to be happy. Here, you take it. And a Pokemon. What is it? What Pokemon did I get? It's called a Substitute. It's a normal. It's oblivious. Prevents attraction. It's already level 15. I don't want a normal type Pokemon, though. Oh, I'm just my collection, though. I will. If that Pokemon's strong, you guys can let me know. Because I, I really don't know. I haven't played this game enough to realize those types of things. Alright, there's like some pots over here. Empty pots. What's in here? Giant Oceanic Museum. 50 money. I don't want to enter yet. I'll, I'll do that later. I want to wait till I'm done with the hiccups. Stern, the fellow who built the museum, also happens to be the leader of the undersea exploration team, so everyone calls him Captain Stern. Whoa. Captain Stern. Hi, hi. I'm the name raider. I'm a fortune teller of names. I should be pleased to rate your Pokemon's name. I see. The nickname is pretty boring because it's like not even nicknames. Alright. Yep, this is a blueprint, alright. The seasons, the weather, where the moon sits in the sky. These and other conditions make the sea change its expression. That's right. The sea is a living thing. Whoa. Holy shit. Mind blown. I get seasick really e real easily, so I get to help out here instead. <gasps> okay, is that all that's here? Really? Huh. Oh, no, there's an upstairs. Designing a large ship is more like making a big building than putting together a transportation vehicle. Ah, yes. I am the Avington Gym Leader. I'm sorry, but I cannot give you a bath just now. It seems there is something wrong with our power plant, but I am stuck here working out the bugs in our systems. Say, do you think you can help out? Well, what do I have to do? I just need you to go check out the power plant and come tell me if you see anything that looks strange. The power plant is on Route 12. If you help out, I can promise you a gym battle as soon as possible. Okay, I can do that. Our power is down by at least 60%. This is terrible. How do you need that much power? You have, like, a very small little town of, like, five buildings. And you have this giant fucking facility for powering, like, what, the world? I mean, there's only, this like, game only has, like, a population of, like, 100. <laughs> I mean, there's more fucking Pokemon in this world than there are people. A lot more Pokemon. Designing a large ship is more like making a build building than putting together a transportation vehicle. I don't know if I already talked to that person. Whatever, we're getting out of here. Alright, so we got the gym, which is guarded. Our gym leader isn't here at the moment. I think he's helping out at the rare house. Is there anything in here? Empty? What? Like a secluded area like that. Wait, what did I say? It, it would be impossible for any mere mortal to move this jar. Dude, that, that house is blocked. Poor dude. The light of the lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. I wonder if it doesn't start a Pokemon in the sea. That little thing. It wouldn't startle a fucking Tinky Winky. Do Pokemon enjoy having items used on them? Mine acted really happy when I gave it some protein. <clears throat> I'm the chairman of the Pokemon Velcrum. Being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one could best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one. In any contest, my victory is a foregone conclusion. But that would deprive others of their enjoyment. So I now, while away in my time, examine the Pokemon of others. It is marvelous to witness how others have raised Pokemon. The contented faces of, popular, of properly raising Pokemon. The kind and loving gazes of their trainers. My heart is overwhelmed. There is so much happiness. Oh my. 
Excuse me. I seem to have nettered on far too long. Please, do allow me to examine your Pokémon and see how it's grown. Hmm. Hmm, I see. It's not bad, but it's not good either. You, the trainer, must put more effort into raising this Pokémon. For instance, may I suggest that you give it more Pokéblocks? I love seeing Pokémon that love their trainers. Pokémon are very sensitive to the feelings of their trainers. If you treat your Pokémon with love and care, they'll love you back. And your Pokémon grow to love you. Please come show me. Your Pokémon really adores you. For you, a most compassionate trainer. A gift from the fan club. Obtained the Soothe Bell. <laughs> the Soothe Bell. If you keep letting a Pokémon faint in battle, it will come to resent it. Soon, it will become less trusting of the trainer. In other words, it certainly won't like you very much. Hmm. You seem to be very close to your Eevee. You know what? Let's Eevee reporter. I travel around interviewing people about Pokémon. I'm wondering if you'd be willing to tell me a little bit about your Eevee. Sure. Wow, thank you. Okay then, please tell me anything you like about your Eevee. You know what? No. <laughs> Fuck that. It's a waste of my time. Time that I need to play this damn game. And train and all that good stuff. All of my footprints. Ooh, there's a dude lying here. Do you know what they do with old ships that come that become too creaky to sail? They sink them in the sea so we can habitats for Pokemon. Wow, what a waste of money. You just like uh, sell like put it in a scrapyard and sell a scrap for and like recycle it and shit. Like seriously. Where the water is clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather. And where people gather, this is how a town is born grows. Okay, I, I skipped something. This person's stuck in the sand. My friends thought it would be funny to bury me in the sand. I've been here for hours. Can you help me out? Oh, thank you so much. Again, thank you for digging me out out there. Can't tell you how grateful I am. Oh, I know, you can have this. An experience share. Damn, I'm actually gonna use that experience share, actually. On Pichu. I know, give. You can have that. Cool. Now he's got an item. I was going to help dig that girl out of the sand, but I got a cramp in my side. <laughs> were you gonna let her know that you were gonna help her, or are you just gonna like, like oh fuck it, oh, I can't do it anymore. I can't let her know. I have no energy. Oh, you're Eevee. You have to go for it a little harder. If you do, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. Oh, your Pichu. Alright, let's switch the Gloom, who's my most powerful. Okay, fuck her, dude. Fuck her hard. Fuck her. Fuck her anus. Oops. Alright, let's go into the museum now. I'm curious. Please enjoy yourself. Oh, do you perhaps like Pokemon? I'm on assignment with the TV network, I'm gathering stories on Pokemon and trainers that occurred recently. Don't mind, could you tell me something about yourself? Yeah. Okay. I knew that shit would happen. That's why I was not very reluctant to, to say yes to that question. <laughs> uh. I want to learn about the sea and use that knowledge for battling. It's a fossil with wavy ridges. Soil on the ocean floor gets scoured by the tide. The flowing seawater marks the soil with small ridges and valleys. If the soil becomes fossilized, it is called a ripple mark. This place stinks. There's no TV anywhere in here. I don't know, right? They, they should have, like, some National Geographic channel on the TV or something. The sea is vast without end and infinitely deep. There must be many Pokémon that we do not know about. What a sea Pokémon. I think it would be cool and nice to hug. Yeah, it'd be nice. That is a very small person. Wow, the submarine's awesome. I want to go for a ride. Get, get in there. You're, you're small enough to fit. Don't you dare run around inside the museum. What are you gonna do about it, bitch? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it, bitch? Huh? Huh, bitch? Huh? Huh? 
Hein? Hein? Tu connais bien.